Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Today we're joined by my daughter's truck, Blueberry, and we're going to talk a little bit about bungee cords. We're going to do a little quick tip how to on how to make these yourself. You can buy these, but let's be honest about it, you can easily do this yourself, save you some money, and make them fit your needs. So we're going to go through the process of making the cords themselves and the hooks. This is really easy to do. You can do it with some simple tools and won't cost you much money at all. So let's take a look at the supplies you'll be needing. The first thing you'll be needing is some ponytail holders. Uh, got these dollar store paid a dollar and a half for a whole bunch of here in all kinds of different colors. Uh, these come in various colors and thicknesses, so you'll just have to find what what color and size you want. They also come in varying strengths of elasticity, so once again, it depends on what you're trying to hold in with them, if you're going just for looks, or to actually maybe hold a cooler into the back of a pickup truck or whatever. So you just gotta decide what you're going for and then choose accordingly. I went with these, like I said, it's a hundred of them, they were cheap, they're colorful, and they'll do what I need them to do. The second product you'll need is paper clips. I got these for a buck at the same dollar store. It's 250 of them, uh, the 28 millimeter. See there? These will make the hooks for our bungee cords. Now for tools, you'll need a razor blade or a pair of scissors, just something to cut the hair bands with. You will also need, and this uh, something to wrap the hook around whenever you make it. For my purposes, I'm using this old Allen key. Also need something with a cutter on them to cut the paper clips. In this case, I'm using this set of angle cutters, or you can use the side cutters that come inside a set of needle nose pliers. So whatever you have, as long as they'll cut through the paper clip, you're good to go. Need a lighter. This right here will be used whenever you cut the bands to burn the ends of them just a little bit, just to keep them from fraying. Here are some examples of some I've made so far. Um, as you can tell, some have small hooks and some have bigger hooks. What that depends on is which part of the paper clip you use to make your hook. You can use the external one right here or the internal hoop. And it depends on if you have them going around like a roll bar like it was on the Jeep or maybe if you have it going through a hook or something, the smaller one works better. Just whatever fits your needs. Okay, let's get started. First thing I want to do is decide what color I want to do first. I think I'm going to do a, a blue one here. So we'll take it, find the metal clip here, and cut it right next to it. That way you can just pull it right on out of the bindings there. Take your cigarette lighter and lightly melt the end of it. Just enough to keep it from fraying. Okay, so to make your hooks, you're going to start with a paper clip. Since we're going to use the big hoop for our hook first, we're going to take the inside part and straighten it out. Like so. We're going to take our Allen key here and we're going to set it against the paper clip so that the end of your hook here is touching the, the Allen key. And then we're going to wrap it around it three times. Right, make sure it's kind of snug around there. There's one, two, and three. Now if your coils get a little loose while you're wrapping it, you can take a pair of needle noses and just pinch them down. Like so. So we'll take our, next we will take our cutters and we're going to cut this off right up against the coil as tight as it'll go. Make sure you hold on to it while you do it so that this piece doesn't fly across the room. Okay, next up we slide this down on the Allen key to the end and then we take our needle nose pliers and we grasp the hook and bend it downward. Now we take our side cutters and this hook right here, this part of the hoop, we get about the middle of it and we snip it off holding on to the extra piece again. Slide it off and there is our first hook finished. We just need to do one more. Same as before, we go and we straighten out the paper clip. Put it on our Allen key, right like so, and give it three wraps. One, two, three. Okay, cut off the excess. Just 
Slide this one down. Grab it and bend to make your little hook. And then cut that off about halfway. There we go. Two hooks are now complete. Next up, we take our piece of hairband earlier, and we take the end that does not have the metal piece on it, and we slide it through the opening here in our hook, like so. And then we take this, and we're just going to make a single knot in it. Just fold it over on itself, make a little knot. Try to have the knot as close to the end as possible. Pull it nice and tight. And then take your scissors and cut off the excess here. Close to the knot. Take your lighter once again. And just lightly heat up the end. That way whenever you slide your hook down, it pulls up nice and tight. Now what we're going to do for the other end is we're going to go and cut this metal piece off now. We leave it on there because that way the hook, whenever it slides down over it, doesn't slide off the end of the, the cord. So, we'll go ahead and just melt this real quick. The reason why I do that is it is just so much easier to get through the, two, the hole here in the hook. There we go. Go inside the hook all the way down to the other hook up and make another simple single knot. Like that. Cut off the excess again. Give it a quick melt and pull down your hook. And there we go, we have a bungee cord. Thing is, this bungee cord right here, it should be about four inches, and it is, and these things will double in length easily. So just keep that in mind when making your bungee cords, check and see how far you need to cover, and then make your bungee cord half or less than that. Like say, if you're covering eight inches, four inches is good, at least for these kind, kind right here. And like I said, you can make tons of different types of them. If you use the inside the paper clip, you can make these small hooks here. And you can get these paper clips in all kinds of different colors too. Like if you want the collar ends that some bungee cords come with. I've used those before. They're coated. And sometimes they're a little harder to cut. Just be forewarned on that. I hope you've enjoyed this little quick tip and how to. I hope you found it useful. Uh, so it's a nice little way to add a little bit of scale to your vehicle. Cool thing is you can also use the same method here to make cargo nets too by making your main stringers and then looping pieces in between them and tying them together and then putting your hooks on the end. I've used that method as well. Works out very very well and that way you can get a cargo net to fit the roof rack you're trying to make it fit. Maybe the next time maybe we'll cover toe straps. I have a method of making those pretty simple and easy. And that way you can make them to the length you want and in the colors you want as well. So maybe we'll cover that next time we do another little quick tip. So thanks for sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you don't miss any future updates, how-tos, videos, unboxings, anything like that. Feel free to like this video. You can also contact us by um, any of the links down below. I thank you for watching, and until next time, happy RCing.